Let's talk about the best KDE Plasma distro for the Raspberry Pi 4. So as you might know, KDE Plasma is a pretty heavy desktop environment and the Raspberry Pi is a low powered single board computer. So it's not ideal to run heavy operating systems on it. But so when you try to try a lot of them on the Raspberry Pi, they might not perform well or they may be really slow. Like if you try Kubuntu or OpenSUSE KDE, they're just really sluggish and they don't feel good at all. But there's this one that is actually really good, and that is Manjaro KDE. And the reason why it runs so well is the devs over at the Manjaro ARM team have graphics acceleration working really well. So the transparency, video playback, everything about this works so well and it's super smooth. So your, I mean, it just works so well. I can do everything that I want to do on my Raspberry Pi here without much lag. Of course, this is going to run a bit slower than, let's say, well, XFCE or LXD, but those are really lightweight and they don't look as pretty or have the same features that Manjaro KDE has. And I love KDE because it's so easily customizable. You can do all the stuff that you want to do all from the system settings you don't have to go and add it to folders you can download everything that you want to do from system settings i love the default menu it gives you like a windows 10 type of feel and i love the all the pre-installed apps that come like console dolphin everything about it is super awesome so let's just take a look at these cool features and how they perform on the raspberry pi like here's our dolphin and you see when I move it, I have that transparency and you think transparency is going to make the operating system run slower. Surprisingly enough, this runs so well. Like if I'm going to run Manjaro on my Pi, I'd rather run a KDE than XSCE due to it just performing nearly the same way plus having those aw those awesome features. And yeah, so it's just super awesome. And if you're not an Arch user, you might think, well, I don't want to use KD on my Pi because I don't like Arch and Manjaro is based off Arch. Well, actually, Arch is not that hard to learn, seriously. It is not hard. And it's when you get used to it, it's actually, I like it a lot better than Debian or Ubuntu. I've actually become an Arch user in the last few months because I just love it so much. And yeah, so now let's take a look at some performance, web browsing, and different features like that. So I did install Chromium on here and I also have Firefox. What's surprising enough is Firefox seems to perform better for YouTube playback, but I actually prefer web browsing on Chromium. So it's a bit it, weird, but it, it, it still is good. So I'm gonna use YouTube on Firefox because when you make the video full screen, it seems to work better on Firefox. Because when you try it on Chromium, it gets stuck and it's just not very smooth. So, 720p video on KD Plasma is amazing. There's like not many frame scripts. It's super smooth and it's really good to watch. 1080, well 1080 on the Pi is still really not that good, as you might know. And it's just not very good to use. So if I go to settings, right now I'm at 480 pretty low let's make that up to 720 and we can just go stats for nerds see the stats on the top right here and I mean you see my operating system is also at 1080 so this is a proper I mean test you can skip through and it goes straight through and you just see it honestly looks really s smooth and feels like that too it's super easy to watch and it's not sticking or not looking good at all. Like if I just skip to the middle right there, it doesn't freeze and get messed up. It just works perfectly good and perfectly fine. If I skip to right here, it's just going to load right up there. And yeah, so 720p on Firefox using Manjaro KDE is awesome, and again, it's due to that awesome graphics driver that the Manjaro ARM team have developed, and it super well. Now to go over, over to some web browsing, if I just type in, let's say, Pi4, hit enter, it loads straight up, 
And anyway, web browsing on the Raspberry Pi 4 is pretty good. But using Firefox on here, it's pretty good. Chromium is actually pretty similar. But yeah, because of the YouTube playback, I tend to just stick to Firefox on Mandrora KDE. But it's up to you and your personal preference. Yeah, so you and you can have a lot of tabs open if you have the 8 gigs of RAM, and they do tend to stick. So you might see that some of my apps and stuff look different. That's because I've actually been theming it and just changing it around to how I like to do that. So I'll go into how you can do that in a little bit. Now to talk about software. Actually, there are a lot of software available for Manjaro KDE, and if you can, you can always find the AUR package and try to build it yourself. And now there actually is a Box86 app image developed by the same guy who made the Discord web app. So I'll leave a link to that in the description and you can try Box86 on Manjaro. So I'll show you guys how you can run that. You're actually just going to right click and open in terminal here. And that whatever it's named, you're going to type dot dash Box86 dash dot app image and then you type whatever thing you wanted to run so if you had a linux x86 app you wanted to run you would type the name right there but if i just want to type like help or version i could type dash v give it a second and you see it shows the box 86 version and if i just took that away so this i have box 86 on manjaro linux so this really speeds stuff up because if you wanted to install it on your system You'd have to make a crew, which is kind of a pain, and then you'd have to install Box86. This, all you have to do is download that app image, and you can run it like that. It's super simple, works incredibly well, and I'm happy with it. So I'm really happy that the developer was able to do that. Next, we also have the Discord app, which is the app image. You can just execute, and I'll also leave a link to that in the description. You can just download the app image, two double clicks, and... Here we are, we have Discord open on Manjaro KDE. And even if you hit this close button, it's still gonna be open on the bottom right here. As you see on my panel on the bottom, I also have transparency. So it just looks really cool. If I go over to PyTalk, you see, I mean, it's all scrolling, it's all working really well. And it's just super awesome to use on here. I can close this. And as you might see in my applications over here, if I go to accessories, or I'll just search it, Imager, I also was able to install Raspberry Pi Imager. And that all you have to do to install that is locate the AUR package and you just build it like normal Arch and you can have the Imager on here. So there's actually tons of software available. You just might have to take a bit more time and build it from the source which isn't that bad. And we also have multi C to be able to play Minecraft Java, which this was also built from the AOR package. So yeah, it's super awesome. Like here we are, you could just install any version of Minecraft you want to play, and you could do that. Now to talk about theming, how I did that. If we go over to system settings, you see it just opens up super quickly. If I was go go over to appearance, and if I go to application style, just give it a second. I haven't changed anything in application style actually. I've just left that how it is. If we go over back to appearance. What did I change? I changed the global theme to I I changed it to breeze dark. It came with breathe too. I prefer this darker theme, so I switched to that. Colors, I didn't change anything. Window decorations, I actually did download the Big Sur type of buttons because I do prefer that over the normal X's, but I don't know, I just like the look of it. Cattle bar buttons, they were on the left, and what you do to put it on the right, all you do is you just, if they're over here, you just drag it and put it on this side. It's that easy. And yeah, so you can put it on the left if you would rather like that, which I do. But of course, it's all personal preferences. Icons. I found these fluent green ones over in Get New Icons. 
So there's actually tons of icons, tons of themes. You can just go over here, search for them, and they're all located over here. So you can just even download them. If you don't like it, you can just uninstall it. I found that I actually like these ones a lot. They look pretty clean and cool. So I just downloaded it from there, picked it, clicked apply, and yeah, cursor. I actually still have the default breeze cursor. I haven't changed that. And yeah, so that's about it for what I've changed. And yeah, I've had a great time using Manjaro KDE on my Pi. It's, I love that it's so easily customizable. It performs so well, so much better than any other KDE distro available for the Raspberry Pi. And you have a lot of software selections. And Manjaro itself is super nice to use. It is probably my favorite Linux distro, if I do have to say. It's so well optimized, looks so nice. And I love Arch. And Manjaro makes using Arch super easy. It's such a fun process to go through and to do. So, yeah. I mean, if you do want to try other KD distros, you can. But I will tell you, you will be disappointed. Once you try Mandrao, you'll never go back. Because it is just the best KDE distro available for the Raspberry Pi 4.